to be able to just make a choice on your own and just be able to speak for yourself. This one's wife. You hurt me, but I'll forgive you. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. An article by Rebecca Russell in The Mirror very much embodies the mentality of the mid-range narcissist that is this one's wife. She is always the victim. She is always the one that has suffered. But nevertheless, she is such a wonderful and amazing, kind and empathic person that despite the fact that she has been so badly treated by so many people, she still has the grace and decorum to suggest that she will forgive that she will want to continue to be involved with certain people, notwithstanding the genuine hurt that she has experienced as a consequence of their awful behaviours. That she is the martyr, forever giving of herself in circumstances where lesser individuals would have walked away. Naturally, it is the case that she creates the problem and then behaves like she is the victim. To sum it up, if she punched you, she would say, ow. The Mirror reports this one's wife is reportedly eager to schedule a reunion with the royal family. Pausing there, that may well be accurate, because of course as opportunity fades for her, it is her royal link that is the only thing that causes people to remain having any interest in relation to her, and the only thing that provides her with a degree of relevance. She's ready to schedule a reunion after four years of limited contact, as she believes fostering better relations with her in-laws will help her sell jam. A royal insider has suggested this seems about right. She isn't interested in fostering better relations because that's the right thing to do. She isn't interested in fostering better relations by way of burying the hatchet, apologising, and trying to build bridges. She isn't building, fostering, uh, she isn't fostering better relations because that might allow her children to have a relationship with grandparents and uncles and aunts and cousins. She isn't fostering better relations because she ought to do as by a way of recompense as a consequence of her behaviour. No, no. It's as usual self-serving. Opportunities are getting fewer and fewer for this one's wife, and therefore her narcissism directs her to let it be known that she wants to schedule a reunion, that she wants to foster better relations, because the underlying reason is she needs the royal family monetarily and fame-wise if she's going to do anything by way of selling jam. The article continues that explains that the... Since the departure of this one's wife and her husband, the couple have not held back on making wave-making claims against the royals, and tension between this one's wife and the family seems to be so high that rumours suggest she will never want to set foot in Britain ever again. The last time the Sussexes visited the UK together was in 2022 for Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. A royal source has suggested that the Duchess is ready to extend an olive branch. Hey, hey there it is again. Bring out the olive branch. It's looking a bit knackered and tattered these days as it's been waved around so many times, but she's still going to try and use it. It's suggested that she's ready to extend the olive branch, even though she's reportedly still genuinely hurt. And there we have it. The individual that has caused so many problems maintains that she's the one that's been genuinely hurt. I'll say it again. This one's wife would punch you, and then she would say, ow. She is the problem, but considers herself the victim. She has created the rifts and the disharmony, but believes that she is the one that has been hard done to. This mentality will seem extraordinary to you, but this is the mindset of the mid-range narcissist that they have been hurt. In essence, their narcissism edits the film so that their own bad behaviour at the outset ends up on the cutting room floor, and all you see is the response, if any, 
of the other individuals, which the narcissist then points to as clear evidence of the fact that they are the perpetrators and the narcissist is the victim. The narcissist then adds and embellishes to the film by suggesting, notwithstanding the bad way I've been treated and how hurt I am, I'm willing to forgive. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones for the purposes of fostering better relations, because also it'll enable me to achieve something that I want to achieve. Royal expert Angela Levin explains she's still genuinely hurt by how she was treated by the royal family. Well, actually, she isn't genuinely hurt. She's wounded in the way that a narcissist is. This is four years on, and she wants to now at least sit down and talk through things. Levin continued to state that this one's wife would like a public apology from the royal family, but maintained that this idea seemed far-fetched. She went on, the person who should apologise is really her, but they, Harry and this one's wife, don't want that. Of course. That is because her narcissism tells her she has not done anything wrong, that she is the victim. It is not the case that she knows that she's been a twat and that demanding an apology is ridiculous. Her narcissism has revised history to make her truly believe that she is the one that has been hurt and therefore she is the one that deserves an apology. She cannot understand why the royal family have been so horrible to her when she's such a lovely person, and her narcissism tells her it can only be because they're racist haters. After all, why would anybody hate you? You're the amazing this one's wife. The article continues with Angela Levin asserting that a royal insider mentioned that the Duchess believes a reconciliation with the royals could potentially help her sell jams from her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. She disclosed she's also trying to get Beatrice and Eugenie, who's on top of her list, to get people to help her sell her jams. And she's really hoping that King Charles might take one too. This demonstrates the deluded magical thinking of the narcissist, that she has come along, shat all over a family, and then turns round and says, Oh, by the way, would you promote my jam, please? This brass-necked approach is entirely commensurate with the behaviour of a narcissist that is this one's wife. Levin explains that this comes from a good source, and it would be her excuse to go there. She wanted to make sure everything was nice, but it's also a way of selling her products. And thus, this article demonstrates the way that the narcissist creates the shitstorm, then plays the victim, and then makes out that they are being the person adopting the moral high ground by saying i'll forgive you but the only reason they're doing so is to make themselves look good and then to have an in of the residual benefit of being able to flog some jam this is an excellent example of the way that the narcissist behaves and is something that this one's wife would regularly do because of the cowardly nature of her middle mid-range narcissism I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.